Hi, welcome back. I'm Ed Lewis, and uh, thanks for coming back again. This should kind of wrap it up for us. I wanted to remind you that uh, to please write down those who have slashed the names of those who have slashed your self-image that you that you know of that have done what we've spoken about. People that you think are trying to really control you. Uh, whether their intentions are good or not, they may be, they may not be. But no one has the right to dictate who you are. You have that right, and only you have that right. So ask for those brushes back, <clears throat> those that have slashed your image. Keep it personal, uh, and you can do this just get together with that person and say it to them, that would be tremendous. Or just mentally say it. Mentally begin to take that brush back. And what you're doing is taking back control. You're taking back control of your own person. Uh, and the slash marks on your image will begin to go away. And you will wind up with that one second view. And, and that's what you're looking for. Just a little bit of change, a little bit of a uh, more, more hope, more encouragement, more ready to, to live your life. And remember that you are loved unconditionally. No matter what your religion says, yeah, no matter what anybody says, you are loved unconditionally, or God could not be, your creator could not be a good father, a good creator. One or the other. It, it can't be both. And, uh, and remember, think about this. When you take back those brushes, you're beginning to take control again. Don't put anybody down. You don't have to get mad. I mean, if you're a little ripped and you want to share that, that's fine. But... It's not a time of getting even. That's not what you want. You really don't, because all you're doing is putting more slash marks on there. And uh, you just want to find out who you actually are and clear your self-image so that it's not good or bad. It's either right or wrong. And we want to find out the correct self-image that we have. I mean, I do, and uh, and I'm sure you do also. Uh, just remember, self-images are not good or bad. They're correct or incorrect. And uh, if they're slashed, they're incorrect. And, and you're not what you feel like, you act like at times. Uh, those things change like the weather. They really do. So that's not who you are. You're not worthless. Uh, and you may be thinking, well, you know, maybe those people are right. They're not. They're not correct. And you know it. You have tremendous value. You just don't know it yet. So get a hold of that, please. And, and keep hanging on to that, whatever you do. And you're getting closer the more you hang on to that, the closer you're going to get to that one second glimpse. And, uh, and that's, what, that's what we're looking for deep down inside. What you're thinking about yourself doesn't fit, does it? What others are saying about you, you've resisted that most of your life. Do it a little bit more, but here's something to get a hold of. Here's something to envision happening to your removing those slash marks. Uh, and, and I'm sorry, but to the religions who say that you were born sinners, that we are born uh, rejected by God, by our Creator, that we're born, gee whiz, 
because of and, and were rejected and, and condemned because of what two people did, Adam and Eve. That doesn't make sense. And it's certainly not loving. I mean, it's not even close. When we see ourselves as being loved and being accepted unconditionally, ourselves, when we see ourselves as being that way, that's when our minds and our emotions and our wills, our souls, will begin to follow our spirits. They'll begin to follow what we're saying. So let's take away those slashes. Uh, let me remind you one more thing. What you do doesn't define who you are. What you do is impacted by your image, by your self-worth, and by your not knowing. So we want to get to be who we really are. Uh, we have to take back our power and we have to take back the truth about ourselves. You're not worthless. You're not sort of worthless. You're not a little worthless. You're not screwed up. None of the above. You are not what others are saying you are. Okay? So, I just want to embrace you with the truth that you're loved and that you're accepted and that you're you're so much more than you than you realize and so am I so I've been on this trip longer than you have I know and uh, I'm just Ed Lewis here telling you what I know to be true. I'm not building an organization. I'm not selling anything. I will ask you to subscribe to my channel and we'll have other things to say about other issues that will involve self-image and self-esteem, I'm sure. We'll talk about depression. We'll talk about the things that we need to talk about. The things we don't need to talk about, we can put those aside for now. And, and don't forget, it's not time to be angry. It's time to just take back control. That's why many of the people who have said things to you that have been hurtful and painful uh, they wanted control. Some of them have wanted control. Some are just mean and hateful people. And uh, they, they, they don't know who they are. They really don't. So keep on writing out the names of those people. Don't expect to get them all down at one time. You'll find out more and more who they are as you think about it. It'll come to you. And by the way, go someplace quiet someplace where you're not going to be disturbed and sit down and have a conversation with your creator. It's not religion. It's not ask, don't bow down. Don't kneel down. Don't, it, no, it's not, none of that. Just sit down and honestly tell your creator what you feel like, what you feel about your creator. Tell him. And don't forget, it's not a hymn. Our creator spirit, our creator doesn't have gender. Our creator is not him or her. And our creator is not it. Our creator is person and loves you very much. Let me know if I can help you. Let me know if you want to see something else. Let me know. Thanks. Bye.